More and more women are making the decision to continue breastfeeding when they return to the workforce. Marama has six kids, works three days a week at the office and two days at home, and she breastfeeds her youngest daughter, Taina, who is eight months old. I went back to work when she was very young, about eight weeks old, um, and lots of decisions. Of course, there's always the financial reason. While I'm at work in my office or away from her, um, I just have to express, and it's normally twice a day, express milk for her, and that's stored, and then she can have that when she goes to care. We've had many, many women working here who have either had their babies in here for time, from time to time or just withdraw a couple of times a day to express and our fridge is often full of you know little little zipped up packs and you know that that's um, breast milk that's going to be taken home. Here I have a nice little quiet room that's private and lockable and I can express and that's fine but I've sat in work cars and the car park in between meetings. You just do what you have to, when you have to, to keep it going. Some places of employment have written breastfeeding plans. If your one doesn't, ask your employer about breastfeeding breaks and flexible working arrangements. Employers must provide women with breaks to breastfeed or express where reasonable and appropriate. Start planning early. A good time to approach your employer is when you talk about paid parental leave. There has to be communication with whoever I'm responsible to, my manager. You do have to be quite clear about what your needs are. Thank you. Can you hold the door for Early you? childhood centres can also support your breastfeeding. Thank you, you're such a good help. Marama provides expressed milk for Tana to have while she's there three days a week. Breastfeeding helps keep the bond between working mothers and their babies strong. This breastfeeding is um, one way of trying to make it up to you a little bit. Hey darling, just the eye contact with her is really important for me as well and sort of, yeah, I want to be the most important person in her life, I um, want to her to trust that I can give her what she needs and so breastfeeding, continuing to breastfeed is for me, I hope, a way of um, giving her that. Returning to work after having a baby is always a juggle, especially when both parents work full time. However, there are many ways working women can continue to breastfeed. I never thought of giving up breastfeeding to return to work. Um, I always had in my mind that I wanted to be able to do both breastfeeding and work, and I think it's really important that women can have that opportunity. Hey, Han. Um, I might have to get you to just to grab him shortly and so I can finish getting ready. There you go. Marcia works at a busy South Auckland health clinic and her son Rex will come in with her until he's six months old. I don't think women should have to give up breastfeeding to go back to work. Hey, how's it going? It's not just because Marcia's a GP. We've done it with other women as well. It puts such a totally different dynamic on your workplace. I mean, in the morning it's a scramble on who gets them. I start work at 10 o'clock in the morning and I have um, patients scheduled in with me from 10 o'clock onwards. So usually I get to work a bit early, about 9.30, quarter to 10, so I can settle him in, give him a quick feed if he needs a top up from breakfast, um, which he often does, and um, then I just start working. And We don't book her solidly. Because he is demand feeding, it's really when he's ready, he gets fed. It's really cool. Eh? The yeah. girls all really enjoy having him around. It's been really awesome having him here. Well, before that patient gets here, I'll throw him on. We'll give you a quick top up, darling. Look at you munching out on your hand. It makes sense to us as an organisation to have, mm. you know, the best employees and to be able to retain them. And, you know, if people are getting that satisfaction at home as far as their personal lives are concerned, then that benefits us as an employer. Bringing a baby to work doesn't have to mean that you're not working. Um, you can still be very, very productive. Um, it just means everyone that's around has to be sort of on board with that co-papa, I guess, to make it work. Um, then there's no reason why it, it couldn't be done elsewhere. Rex is now six months old, and although Marcia will continue to breastfeed him until he is at least a year old, his time with her at work is coming to an end.
Today, Marcia's work colleagues are throwing him a party to celebrate their time with him. Oh, it's kind of mixed emotions. Part of me feels happy that he can now have some time away from me and spend some more time with his dad. And then there's another part of me that's sad. It's, you know, one step away from him being my little baby, but yeah, that depends on my husband and my mother we were saying, oh, put her on a bottle for crying out loud. Look at you, put her on a bottle. Um, but I knew I would get there and that it would be worth it. It was hard at the beginning, but it gets easier as you go along. It's really nice, it's just so easy now. I do enjoy breastfeeding, you know, I really thought that I wouldn't, but it helps you to bond with your baby. I never considered not breastfeeding. It's always just been something that I've done. I'm really glad that I breastfeed the babies. And my husband really envy me. <laughs> just knowing that you're nurturing the baby in a, in a really good way. Stick at it. You know, get the support you need to, yeah. to make it work because it, it is the best thing for your baby and for you.